new printing system. And when the weather gets hazardous, one road is especially dangerous to drive on in the winter. We'll have those stories along with your local weather and sports. The news that affects you starts now. From Rogers City to Tawa City and all points in between, this is Northeast Michigan's award-winning news team. Your source for news, weather, and sports. We are WBKB News at 6. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us. I'm Alexandra Johnson. The Northern Michigan Unmanned Aerial Systems Consortium has become an official UAS test range. This means the Alpena Regional Airport is now licensed through the FAA and Griffiths International Airport to fly drones of 55 pounds or less. It will be used as a flight testing center consisting of UAS manufacturers, research centers, military and educational purposes. It has taken three and a half years to to get to this point and board members say the research possibilities are endless. Uh, it, it's a complicated process but we've been working on it steady. We have not given up. It's taken a long time but we keep putting the pieces together uh, and this is a huge uh, thing for Alpena. Van Wormer says he is hoping this will bring a number of jobs to the area and the next step is to apply for a grant from the MEDC and start forming a 5013C nonprofit. APS is planning on spending $150,000 to $160,000 for an update in copy and printing devices. It has been six and a half years since APS has purchased new equipment. They currently have machines of all ages and models, so the new purchase will standardize the equipment and improve functionality. The new scanners, printers, and copiers will use laser ink and be more cost efficient so the schools can use their money for in-class supplies rather than toners. Buildings are spending money out of their supply budgets for toner that this will allow uh, them to spend on other purchases instead. APS is looking at two companies to purchase the items through and expects to have all the equipment by this spring.